The News Project's I-Team is investigating after a routine air duct cleaning drove an Orange Park couple from their home. It's been 10 months since they've been able to live inside their home. The couple says that the company they hired improperly cleaned their fiberglass air ducts and contaminated their home and all of their belongings. Consumer investigator Tiffany Salome joining us now live. And Tiffany, you discovered that the company doing the work was sold just a few weeks after what it was a life-changing incident. Yes, and that's why it's been so hard for them to get this problem solved. The damages are close to $70,000. The couple reached out to the News for Jack's I-Team as a last resort for help. This security footage captures the moment Tyler Collins' life would take a turn. Was this supposed to be your forever home? Uh, that's the idea. He had just moved into his home in Orange Park three weeks prior. It was the only three weeks he would spend there before his home was infected with fiberglass. Ultimately, I'd like to be able to live in the home we purchased. As a first-time home buyer, he wanted to refresh the space built in the 80s. He started with installing new carpet, buying new furniture, and, and was looking into replacing the air ducts, which were lined with fiberglass duct boards. Rather than replacing the air ducts completely, the company he hired, Charlie's Tropic Heating and Air Conditioning, assured him they could safely clean them. So tech came out and he looked over everything. He's like, oh, I mean, don't worry about spending that kind of money right now. Like we can safely clean it. Like it'd be 600 bucks to like clean the ducts. We won't use any kind of like rotor brush, anything like that. We'll just use a vacuum and air pressure and we'll get you set up. The invoice details that the company would clean the entire duct system using a negative air vacuum. But when a tech came out to perform the service, that's not what Tyler says happened. Unfortunately, the day whenever they sent the tech out, uh, he couldn't speak any English at all, couldn't communicate with him. Uh, so he just kind of started doing his thing about halfway through. I went to check on him to see what was going on. I noticed like, oh, he's using a rotor brush, just like what they said they wouldn't do. If you take these panels off, you can see some of it on the other side. I guess around like midnight or so, the air must have kicked on while we were asleep because I woke up at like two in the morning, just lungs on fire, couldn't breathe at all. Tyler and his girlfriend had to go to the ER the next morning. He later followed up with a pulmonologist who told him his lungs were only at 50% capacity because of the poor air quality inside his home. It had just infected most of the house, like our pillows, if we use those, even after washing them, they would make our throats itchy clothes that were in the house, no matter how many times we washed them, were just unbearable to wear. Our couch, it covered it. Demand letters sent by Tyler's attorneys have gone unanswered. Between his medical bills, air quality testing, and the estimates to repair his home, the damages total almost $70,000. The company only refunded Tyler the $600 he paid for the cleaning. This is one of the bedrooms we had all made up and everything. The mattress on here, we just threw away as well because it had been infected. State records show that Charlie's Tropic Heating and Air Conditioning is no longer in business. Because of that, Tyler and his lawyers have hit a dead end. He will likely have to cover the cost of repairs himself. I just hope they do the right thing at some point because ideally we'd like to be able to live in our home. Now, we did reach out to the company that purchased the business for comment on this story, and they asked us to air this statement, quote, Weather Engineers Incorporated purchased the assets of Tropic Heating and Air Conditioning Incorporated, doing business as Charlie's Tropic Heating and Air Conditioning in February of 2024. The issues that arose with Mr. Collins were before our purchase of Tropic Heating and Air Conditioning and were handled by Tropic and Heating and Air Conditioning. We are sorry for the issue Mr. Collins had with Charlie's Tropic Heating and Air Conditioning, and we look forward to helping them in the future if they so choose to use weather engineers. We're live in Orange Park tonight. I'm Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station.